you follow professional mountain biking and cyclocross, you've probably heard the name Yolanda Neff. Yolanda is a multiple world champion in mountain biking, but recently she's done something very special. She has gone into the cyclocross world as well. And when you go into the cyclocross world, you start entering these professional races, there are call-ups. And with Yolanda, because she didn't have any points in cyclocross, she had to start in the back. The, the world champion in mountain biking had to start in the back. Well, every single race, she's worked hard and moved through the field in every single race, been able to position herself at the start a little bit closer to the front until just recently she won her first cyclocross race beating the current cyclocross world champion. This is an awesome story, but it has a lot of great lessons for all of you as well as myself. You know, oftentimes as endurance athletes, we race and train safe. And what I mean by that is you enter different races that you know that you're gonna find success in, that you're gonna win. You avoid competition. Also, as, um, as endurance athletes, and specifically triathletes, oftentimes we fail to train our weaknesses because it's harder, we don't like it as much. Instead, we train more on our strength because it gives us more satisfaction because we are the best. Well, what I encourage you to do, especially this time of the year, when we're in the off season, this is the perfect opportunity to be working your weakness. Think about Yolanda and how even though cyclocross wasn't where she could go and get instant gratification, world recognition, she was willing to go and learn this new skill to keep working through it and work what was on the surface a weakness for her. For you, find that discipline. Maybe it's hills if you're a runner, or maybe it's swimming if you're a triathlete, and work that. Spend time this off season really dialing in that weakness and make it a strength.